What is up everyone? My name is Jonathan and today we are doing yet another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today we are in day number five. We are going to be making the letter E. In the alphabet I'm doing a 26 day challenge and all of these Adobe Illustrator files will be available for download on Christmas Day. So subscribe if that's something that interests you. Make sure to give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you and let's get started. Alrighty, as usual we are in Adobe Illustrator and today we're going to be making the letter E. So we're going to use our ellipse tool like we did yesterday for the letter D. If you didn't watch that video, make sure to check the comment below. It will have a playlist with all of the letters of the alphabet. The color codes for these gradients will be in the description below. So if you want to use these colors exactly, feel free to copy and paste those color codes over as we go along. Just hit pause, copy in that color code, hit play, and then continue to follow along. So let's get started. We're gonna use a gray color just to get started, just so we have something to see. We have a gray color here. We're going to align this in the artboard. And then we're going to make another circle, a little bit smaller. I'm going to make this one just a different color just so it's a little easier to see. And probably somewhere around here or so, maybe a little bit bigger. Let's do a little bit bigger. Probably, let's do there. Now select both of these, go over to your Pathfinder tool. It might be over here in a tab somewhere over here. And if it's not in over here somewhere in one of these panels and it's not here, then go to Window, go down to Pathfinder. We're going to hit the minus front. So that one's done. We're going to lock this layer just so we don't accidentally click on it. It makes it a little easier to to work so now we're going to create another circle so hit L for your ellipse tool or you can click on the circle obviously hit your V key and drag this over so it's pretty close to lined up with this guy over here whoa too far probably right about in there and then what we're going to do again is copy and paste this we're going to change this to another color It's going to be something like so. Select both of these, minus again. Now we're going to move this over. This isn't quite where we want it to be. Get this lined up. And so now what we're going to do is go to our direct selection tool and select this point and drag this down. And actually let's put this behind this front shape, send to back. That way we know for sure that we're lined up here. And the top shape isn't sticking out above this. So hit Control Alt 2 and that will unlock all of the layers. So let's grab this point here. Maybe this will be a little easier. We can just put this on here, go up here, grab this handle and pull this out so it covers up the lower layer. You can probably see where I'm going with this already. So now for this shape, I'm going to use this gradient. So I'm just going to hit my, eye, my hit the letter I for the eyedropper tool, hit G for the gradient, and then I'm going to drag this down to about there or so. Go back to my selection tool, select this object, hit the I key for the eyedropper, grab this one, hit G for the gradient. I'm going to put it somewhere about like so. Go back to my selection tool. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is take the pen tool and click on here, click here, drag this up, hit escape, Oops. click on this anchor, click here, try and get this really close, hit escape to get off of the anchor. And I'm going to swap this. So now I'm actually going to hit I again, select this one. And what I need to do for this is go over to properties. If you don't have properties open, uh, properties, it'll probably be over here in one of these panels. For me, it's right here. If you don't have either of those, go to window, go to properties. There is no shortcut for properties. So click on my stroke. And then for this, I want 
profiles, I want this one. So that way it comes down to a nice fine point and isn't that weird square end. Let's add a little shadow down here. So what I would do is grab this, go over to gradient, go scroll up here to a radial gradient, swap this, and I would drag this out, smash it down, hit V for your selection tool, bring it over here. I'm actually going to make this white 0%, so there's no opacity to the white. Center it up, hit Shift Alt, drag that out, boom, done. That concludes the tutorial for today on how to make the letter E. If you found value in this video, make sure to give it a like if you want more content like this one and tons of content, Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere, After Effects, tech reviews, etc. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. God bless. And we will see you in the next one.